rolling with nat 20. I'm nat 20, and we're back with more Renowned Explorers. And we're going to try our damnedest to be able to finish this series of expeditions and not lose. And that does mean we are going to be going with easier things, more likely, rather than uh, not. Now, we did our last expedition friendly, but we are capable of being aggressive as well. Hmm. We're not very devious. We do have tactician quick thinking, though. But I think that our ability to fight and do Rosh's lost treasure is going to be our best bet. Plus, we are somewhat familiar with what happens in Rosh's treasures area in the Caribbean. Finally, you can start your search for Rosh's treasure. The treasure, once stolen from the Spanish Silver Fleet, should be somewhere on this pristine and beautiful island. Philippe looks at the map you got from Pinkerton to find out where. A place near a waterfall. Over here! Look, there's a skull in it and everything. <laughs> the crew sets foot on the beautiful island and looks around just when Felipe turn, finds some man-made debris and realizes this island is not as an uninhabited as you first thought. You've got company. Smugglers! They come rushing towards you. Our secret island has been discovered. We've got to silence them, mates. Seems they will leave you no choice. Stand your ground. Smugglers! Oh no! It doesn't matter how we defeat them. We're the greatest. So you have the piercing shot, you have the peace treaty in a group, and you have the amnesia shot. There's not too many of them. Alright. We can weaken you with that. Peace treaty! Your crew members getting shocked. Does this affect theirs? Or just mine? Because I was always under the assumption this was the uh, state of the battle, but maybe they're not being affected by that. Because then part B of the plan was to do this shot here to take both of them out, but that's not working out. Uh... It is kind of a longer shot. Can I reach both of them there? Dag, just barely not. Okay, so what if I use you to take out you? Kerthwap! Well, I can see you to position. Devious abilities have 25% power. It does say my crew, so I don't know. Step over here. They've given a slice and dice. So accurate. 220% chance to hit. Now we don't even need that piercing shot, but it'd be cool. Perhaps we even could have uh, made the fight a little shorter if we just attacked with him. No, he's not quite strong enough to pull off that sort of thing. See? Yeah! Oh, no. Looks like you can get lucky and can. Well... I mean, only because she was weak to begin. With the smugglers out of the way, your crew has enough time to hide the boat and start exploring the island. Sadly, it seems that this island is a smuggler's hideout. Better be careful. Ready to go, Felipe leads the crew into adventure. Felipe. Felipe. I'm probably going to use the two interchangeably. I think it's Felipe, though, actually. Alright. There's a traitor here. There's a battle here. Let's just, uh go arbitrarily do the battle, I guess. A group of pesky monkeys has been stalking you for hours. They're out to get your food, and they've already stolen Victor's marmalade sandwich. We cannot allow this any longer. You will not steal our marmalade sandwiches. Start encounter. You. I'm done with monkeys. Whoa! That escalated quickly. Alright. I'm a cut a monkey. You should never have stolen our sandwiches. How quick are you? You can get over here. Can you take out a monkey in one hit? You can. Monkey time! Bloop! Done with all of you. Alright, that seems unimportant. We can go here. Where there's a traitor. 
Traveling through the local sediment, Felipe spots a small hut where both items and supplies are being sold. Force supplies for unresolved? No. Look at the equipment. Everything's gonna cost 50, but I don't know. Maybe. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 leaf. Alright, fine. Whatever. Uh, Alright, what do we have here? Research in gold. Research in nature. Athlete, naturalist, survivalist. What do we have again? You have a little bit of athlete. A little bit of survivalist. You have a little bit of naturalist. Engineer or rogue. You're a little bit of both. And a lot better engineer than rogue. Alright, let's step here. Ooh, supplies over there. The crew finds some materials that can be used to create some helpful gear and tools. The materials could also be studied. Felipe thinks about the options. He can do it perfectly. Do it. Success! Felipe has a stroke of inspiration on how to use those coconuts in just the right way. The result is some valuable experience and an excellent tool. Your next challenge will be much easier thanks to this single-use tool item. Excellent. So I did uh, a little bit of research and found out that those tools do themselves. They use themselves. Sometimes a, uh, an, an option will have a little tool symbol to let you know that you're using it. But that one described it to be used in my next challenge. So I imagine that'll just be what happens. Alright, um, there's supplies here. And I kind of want to go there. Uh, the question is, do I want to step here? For a wits challenge or a technique challenge? And seeing what's going over there. I'm gonna risk it and do it. Spot a nearby camp where smugglers are busy moving around crates. The cargo seems valuable. You really want to know what's in those crates, but you can't possibly take on all the smugglers. You could just infiltrate them. Felipe can pass as a smuggler. To no one's surprise, Felipe makes an excellent smuggler. You were right to check what was in the crates. Felipe finds carefully packed porcelain in them. When Felipe returns to report, you have the choice to notify the authorities and become lauded or sell the information to a black market. Uh, we will take campaign. Resources can be gained here. Another nature challenge. Oh, and there's a free step over there somehow, so we might just do a big, like, S formation if we get lucky. Let's step here next. A branch hanging over a chasm gives you the possibility to take a shortcut. Balancing act is required to get to the other side and secure a rope for the others to pass. Felipe is looking for a volunteer to walk across the branch. Oh, the tool symbol's here. You can use a tool in the following challenge for a 25 bonus. You have one tool right now. I, uh, yeah, absolutely, actually. So that's how you use tools. Okay, I definitely want to do that, because I want to get that stuff. Hatis, good luck. Good. We needed everything that that offered. All of it. Success! Hatiz balances across the branch with success and secures passage. To add to your fortune, the area you can reach is bountiful with gems and supplies. Good, good, good. <laughs> that's why that's a free step, because it's a free step to crap. Alright. Go over here and catch this. The ruins of a village. The crew is curious about the details of its history, but Felipe is cautious. 40% chance to lose those uh, two supplies we just got. But for history uncovered, seems important. More important than any of the other stuff I got. Eee, good luck. Oh, phew. Good. Felipe carefully leads the investigation to a success. From local writings, Felipe concludes that the village was struck by a disaster that ruined their food. Felipe takes an urn for investigation and boasting. Another mystery solved. Okay, there's some supplies over here for us to get, so that's good. We continue on our journey and a free step over here. A shipwreck. The whole thing is unstable and might collapse. It's dangerous to salvage. An engineer might be skilled enough to salvage the boat, however, which engineering is Felipe's specialty. Felipe carefully fixes unstable points in the vessel, making it safe to explore. It was not for nothing. You can find some fresh supplies, or you do find some fresh supplies, and an amazing chest full of treasures. Done with the boat, the crew continues exploring. I also got a treasure hunt. Nice. Alright, I can step there if I want. Hmm. Oh, but it's a free step here, so why wouldn't I? Why would I? I definitely want a free step. Some smugglers are celebrating a haul they just made. They're having a great time. An ideal mood for a roguish character to confiscate some of their haul. Go steal some loot. The only risk is being spotted and losing a collect. That's fine. Go steal it. Steal their loot. Get it.
You did it. You did it, Felipe. You're the greatest. Success! Felipe manages to sneak in and take a large chunk of their loot. That smuggler's party will end pretty sour once they start dividing the spoils. Suckers. This one has a chest on it, which has treasure or items maybe present, which is good. We'll go for that. Also get to explore a bunch of this in that process. A fishing boat. As you walk along a pearl white shoreline, some of the crew starts to develop an appetite for fresh fish. Felipe spots an upside down old fishing boat. You walk towards the boat. It doesn't look very seaworthy, but luckily there is a net next to it, and you can still catch fish that are close to the shore. We will use it. Uh. Well, a difference of 1% chance for the possibility of an extra collect. I'll go with a tease. Ah, well. We don't catch anything. Not a single fish enters the net. After a while, Hatice gives up. Fishing for fish near the shore with the net doesn't seem to be the most effective way, so Hatice decides to turn the boat over and see if there's any more gear underneath it. Hatice screams as loudly as possible. There's a skeleton beneath the boat. After a brief period of relief, the boat is lifted to take a closer look at what is underneath it. Who would have thought, besides the skeleton, there is a necklace and a letter. It looks like someone was trying to get away from the island, but left a final message. Uh, read the letter. While taking the letter, a small piece of paper drops on the floor. You can look at it. The letter is from the woman's boyfriend. It is very romantic, and he tells her the jewelry is safely hidden, and that it, in a few years, people will stop looking. Some of the sultry lines may come in handy during the campaign. What else do you do? Uh, read the piece of paper that fell. You pick up the small piece of paper. The following is written on it. 52 left, 13 right, 44 right. Um, that seems like a thing that I should probably write down. I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared for this. But I can get prepared soon. 52 left, 13 right, 44 right. There we go. That was written down if I need that later. What else do you want to take the necklace? The necklace must be at least 200 years old. It's a fine treasure, probably stolen from some Spanish royalty. Good find. We get the Spanish royal necklace. Plus five collect. And an insight. And some renown. All good. All good, all good, all good. Take. What else do you want to do? I guess we're done here. Finding the skeleton beneath the fishing boat sure killed everyone's appetite for fish, but not their appetite for treasure. With a nice shiny necklace in your bag, and a smile on the crew's face, you continue exploring. Alright, well... All of these look to suck. Um, but this is the only one that has a free step. So we'll step here. And we get the hidden horde! Excellent! On every expedition, there is a hidden horde to be found. On these occasions, fate smiles upon your crew. We can discover a secret, a treasure hunt, or discovery. Um... I wish I could remember how much each of them affect me. I can look at treasure hunt up here and see that it's a bunch of status and gold. I believe secret is status and study, and discovery is study and gold. Could be wrong. I think I'm going to go with secret though. Status and study. Research. Good. Then we can take a free step over here. What an enormous tree. Climbing it might reveal information about this island, but you'll need to be quite the athlete. Victor can probably do it. Get up there, Victor. Probably. <laughs> yeah! The climb is successful. From atop the canopy, Victor studies the surroundings. Okay. Uh oh. There's nothing to be gained here. We've already found the secret hoard, so there's no point in even stepping on free stuff. I'm gonna make it here because I do reveal a bunch of stuff and probably not go over there unfortunately. In such a distant place, you are bound to make some discoveries about the nature of things. 
While exploring, Felipe often asks someone to keep an eye open for such discoveries. And, of course, he's the one who might make one. Ooh. A discovery. Felipe managed to find a new type of beetle. While Felipe is happy with the find, Victor is slightly disgusted. Alright, we're definitely going to go for the chest option. Oh, Felipe leveled up, so let's do that first. Do I want double dose? Amnesia Shot can hit an additional target, or Amnesia Shot gets more powerful? Amnesia Shot gets more powerful. Definitely. That way I can hit a boss with it, and it does more. Which is more likely what I'm going to need it for. Alright, let's go to get to see this chest and explore a little bit. Another chest, excellent. Once you find a huge tree that towers above the canopy of the deep jungle, one crew member could go climb the tree and see what's up there. Many things can be found in jungle canopies, but you can expect physical challenge, biological data, or hidden bounties. Physical challenges, biological data, hidden bounties, or maybe biological data. He does no biology. Let's go with Felipe. He doesn't have the biggest uh, athleticism, but he can do other stuff. Felipe climbs the tree for over 30 minutes until the canopy is finally reached. The view of the jungle is simply breathtaking. There are things to explore, though. What will Felipe do? Felipe takes a closer look into the canopy because he's a naturalist. Excellent. Felipe is looking for ecological relationships in the canopies when something catches the eye. It's a rare tear orchid, long ago thought to be extinct. Felipe carefully takes the flower with some vines for breeding, but leaves the plant intact. Grain the treasure, tear orchid. And of course, even though they've made four passes today, they're still mowing the lawn outside. It's like they forget that they've already done this portion of the lawn. They've been at it for four hours. I'm going to pause and cut out the lawn. Okay. I think they're done now. We can start back up. Take this treasure for six study and the extra insight. Felipe takes. <coughs> Excuse me. Felipe takes another good look around the canopy. Is there something else left to do? Felipe studies the jungle canopy. The jungle canopy is a very biodiverse place. Felipe takes the time to document the wonderful things seen here. This will surely be useful in later studies. Felipe takes another good look around the canopy. Is there anything else? No. Okay, we got three, so we could blam, blam, blam. Nothing shows that we can get any sort of supply out of it. We'll have to not explore over there. We do end up going down this way. Oh, dang, we do want to go down that way. Crud. Dang you, game! <laughs> the path we should have taken. One amazing find in the deep of jungle, you find the elusive 100 year fruit. The low hanging fruit takes more than 100 years to grow to this size. Surrounding the fruit is a barrel of monkeys, performing a ritual never witnessed before. You can just take the fruit to safety. A naturalist might be interested in studying the monkey's ritual. Uh, Felipe will study the ritual, is an 85% chance. And I think even if we fail, we can still try to steal the fruit but extra studying. Fascinated, Felipe observes that the monkeys know about the fruit, suggesting cultural memory in this barrel. Once the monkeys start shaking the tree, making squishy noises and explosive gestures, Felipe starts to get anxious and rushes in and takes the fruit. The monkeys are seemingly disappointed. With the research and the fruit in hand, you leave the monkeys heartbroken. You leave the heartbroken monkeys behind. Bunch of study. No additional effects, just renowned and insight. And crud. This is gonna be the grade eight fight. Step in here will give us another fight. Eee. This is what we have to do. If we wanna get all the treasures, so we are gonna have to take some debuffs before we get to Rosh. As you walk through the jungle, you spot a big shadow, jump away further into the woods. It looks big and intimidating. That big shadow is surely going to make for an epic and risky encounter. Follow the shadow, because we fight the Titan Ape! You start the hut, and soon you find out what the shadow was. A Titan Ape, what a magnificent and rare creature. 
The crew disrupts its meal, and he is not pleased that he quickly leaps towards Victor to deal the first blow. But Victor stoutly parries the blow, and the encounter starts. Bring it on, big monkey. Start the encounter. Alright. You can't do that if you're right next to the enemy, so we're gonna have to. Uh. Go back. If you stand here, what kind of angling can you get? What kind of angling that shoots one monkey and blasts the, uh, him a little. Um. Kind of angling can I get here? There we go. Blast two monkeys and hit him. That's what I want. Kathloop! Alright, you. Oh, maybe I probably should have done this before she did her shot. Oops. Because this lowers armor and grit and whatnot. Oh well. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, hold off on that then. And... What can you do? Bye. No. Can I encourage the monkey away? No. Can I treat the monkey away? No. My monkey is here to stay for this round. If we can enrage you, we can lower your arm. Let's try that. Try to enrage. Yes, we've lowered your armor. And you can come over here and cut him with his lowered armor. Cut him. Good. Good, good, good. More monkeys are coming, and that changed him to confident, so that his armor is no longer down. Alright, you've been enraged, lowering your armor by, it says decreasing armor by 25%, but that says minus 25 armor. Yeesh. Okay. You're going to take a step back. Amnesia potion. No. You can take a step over here. I'm blasting good. Soup. And you'll give him a good cut. Good cut. Yeah. Alright. Monkeys keep coming to join you, which is why we gotta take you out quick. Ow, that hurt. That was no good. Oh jeez, don't, 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 stop it. You see, quit. Jungle monkeys, okay. This, you move over here. And that doesn't do any sort of healing. This does. Alright, so we're gonna have to heal up. Patisse! Give you a piercing shot later back. Ah. Okay, Hatice. You need to move over here. Give that monkey a shot. Flat! You need to give him a cut. In the next turn, we should be able to take Big Monkey down. Let's hope we can stay standing for all that. She runs at he runs after Hatis, then punches her in the face for twenty. Don't 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 go after Hatis. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes. Good. We should be good. It doesn't matter. These monkeys are over here. They'll never catch up. You'll never catch up, monkeys. We are taking your leader. We're taking him forcefully. We will not trick him. We will not befriend him. We are going to beat him into submission. Ugh. There we go. Barely made it without taking a loss of resolve. 
the Titan Ape is broken and defeated. You capture the ape with relative ease now that it's unable to defend itself properly. This ape will be the central attraction in zoos and circuses all over the world. Night 5 campaign and 10 study for my troubles. I don't understand why there's like an out of 3 if you can go over it. It don't make sense to me. Alright, so I will run out of supplies. Unfortunately, I've already stepped here, so... Felipe loses speech defense. Ouch. Not the worst, though. Step you here. Felipe hears something rustling in the trees. You immediately think of monkeys, but then suddenly two smugglers carrying bananas come descending down. One tells the other, We're sure to get an extra portion of coconuts if we deliver them to the boss. Felipe came, became agitated, since only being worth an extra portion of coconuts isn't flattering at all. Show them how much you're worth. Hatis notices a bunch of bananas needing only a little push to fall into the smugglers. Quick thinking, and we get uh, two encounter off of it already. Boom. Hatis throws a small rock at the bananas. They fall exactly on one of the smugglers' head. They charge in your direction. We still have to fight, but we get two extra encounter for it, and the uh, encounter's probably easier. Alright, what you want? I want... Oh, we weakened you with that. Okay, okay. I want to step over here. Okay. We'll blast you out with this. Bloop. Ugh. Devious things will do 25 extra damage. That's okay, though. We will convince... Oh, man. I thought that would be enough. Okay. Hold on. Everybody go back. Are you good enough to cut this guy down? Let's do that real quick. I'll worry about you no more. And we'll just cut you down too, I suppose. Though I was hoping to take it down all in one fell swoop. Yeah! You missed. You missed, you silly bastard. You die now. Alright, and for that we get two more encounters. Hatice gets even more powerful, but then we are going to be... Ooh, oh. Our apologies. We're the explorers who take our bananas as an apology. We get collect for that. I was hoping we'd get supplies. But instead, we are getting hit with victory losing armor. Yeesh. Alright, we gotta finish this up, because we just do not have the supplies to not. You finally find it. The waterfall rock. The treasure hidden by the notorious pirate Captain Rosh must be here somewhere. This is the goal of the expedition. It will end the expedition. Yeah, good. What a fantastic sight. No wonder the pirate Captain Ross chose this place to bury his treasure. The crew starts to look for clues and signs of treasure under the peerless guidance of Felipe. Seems that it will take longer than expected. Somebody might want to set up a defensive camp while the other crew members continue searching and digging. Alright. If we fail, we get a disadvantage. But if we succeed, fantastic defenses might give us the advantage. I think it's worth the roll because we are already at a disadvantage. Crap. Yeah, so good. Whew. I was like, super disadvantage. <clears throat> it looks like a bastion. Victor creates a camp at a strategic location with a lookout and everything. Besides that, it was a good way to learn about the environment. You will be prepared for any hostiles that come your way. All crew members gain jungle defenses. To find the treasure, the crew spends hours looking for Rosh's marks. The night passes, and guard duties change while the crew works diligently to uncover the secret treasure. It's not long, the next morning comes until Felipe conducts an intense study and finds treasure. After hours and hours of searching and digging, Felipe's shovel finally hits a wooden chest. The crew opens it up to see the Spanish treasure in all its glory, surrounded by other precious pieces. The crew prepares to dig out Rosh's treasure when you hear a deep laugh from behind. It's the smuggler boss! I've heard these rats were on my island. <clears throat> That's not a good part. I heard these rats were on the island. But I didn't think they would be so kind as to find my treasure for me. Get your paws off me, booty, you landlubber. He hurls a heavy object towards you. Watch out, it's a ticking time bomb. And it's going to take some of the treasure with it. Felipe needs to charge into the situation quickly because he can defuse it with his expert roguish and engineering and scientisting and grit and... Yeah. 
With sweaty hands, Felipe manages to defuse the old bomb. You're able to secure some valuables before the boss comes in. A treasure hunt you study. It seems you won't be going down with just an old sea mine. I'll show you what happens when you disrespect me territory. Fellows, get the treasure and crush these landlubbers. Seems that we have no choice. We must destroy Captain Rosh. And potentially his men. We'll start this encounter. Alright, two of his men start off in my face. Rosh is way over there. Alright, um... So we'll start off with you getting over there. Can you finish him in one hit? Or her, I guess? Alright. Can you finish a dude in one hit? Can you finish that dude in one hit? Nah. Why are you so stupid? Alright, hold on. Back up. Change your mind. We're going to encourage you increasing your attack. And you're going to step right here with your increased attack. Flap those guys. There we go. Come on, Rosh. Reinforcements. Stop getting more suckers to help you. You lame -o. What are these reddish spots? Are dudes healing in these spots? I don't know. Look kind of sparkly. Where can you get to? Okay. Amnesia shot! Take that! You boss jerk captain guy. Here I come to cut you! Take that! And I don't even need to move for you to take that! But and all the buffs on Hot Tease are paying out. Hello, we. No, don't kill Victor. Ah, he'll be okay. Hey now. Did you have to get that close to me to shoot me with that gun? Uh, Alright, we should be able to take the boss out in this turn. I think. I come over here. And I cut boss. Boss boy! Ugh. And then I shoot boss. Boss down. Blah. Yeah, we good. Victor almost lost his all, but he did. Rid the island of the boss. We did. The smugglers lie defeated at your feet. Felipe makes it clear that there's more of that to come if the smugglers don't leave this island quickly. The crew's physical prowess has intimidated the boss, and they run away, vowing to leave you in this island alone. Without those irksome outlaws to bother you, you can retrieve Rosh's treasure easily. We continue exploring. We get Rosh's treasure, plus 10% gold from all collect tokens, and a treasure hunt. Yay! It looks magnificent. The scent of gold fills the air. With Rosh's treasure in your hands, the expedition was a success. You can proudly return to London with this old Spanish treasure. Well done. Uh, what are your things? Quick thinking and engineering. Tactician, diplomat, so nothing that matters right now. We'll think about it later. Some of the upgrades actually affect uh, things that happen in town or when you return or whatnot, so I want to make sure that I wouldn't waste anything by not upgrading. So we get 14, or 16 free study because of all the resolve we got. We get an insight and a capacity. We get a ton of things. Diggity dag, that's a lot of research. Felipe Ben Susan, the mad scientist. And two adventures in, we already pull up to six, because we got so many treasures there. With that adventure behind you, you can send a report to an exploring city, and we can get... New Entourage Hall, Modest Entourage Hall, Constantinople. Yes. Go! Alright, let's check out our uh, potential specialists that we could be getting. 
Actually, I think probably researches that I can do are the best to start. So... I probably want to go down this path and get the extra study when spending Insight in Berlin. Gain supply when resolving an encounter with a chosen attitude. Interesting. What? I never really remember what all of these are capable of, and that is a bit of a problem. I've never gone down here and got Origin of Species too, so I don't even know what that does. Uh, I don't know what the secret shop trinkets are either. But research from collect is pretty damn powerful. And I was liking this kind of because of the research from counter and the tool for the adventure wheel, but this research from collect tool from the adventure wheel. Um, I did already unlock this, so I do want to get these for sure. I might want to go down and catch that extra two, but it's not super important. Plus two collect when at level three engineer succeeds. That counts as you. Probably won't unlock that unless uh, extra renown for gold. Maybe. I really want renown. Alright, so we definitely want this. And we definitely want this. I don't know if we definitely want these. And choose renown from an extra thing isn't that great. Um, and with that, what else do we do? Yeah, I think I think we go down this and get research from collects and collects from that. Unless choose an emotional will have a stronger effect. You get barters that are, have supplies. Yeah, none of this, none of psychology seems good for my setup. Uh, I think this probably mock engineering, and then I need more research. Okay, well let's take a look at these specialists that I could get and see if any of them affect anything. Doubles the original study and discovery gained from insight. If I had a thousand uh, campaign, maybe would it be worth going that to get the double? It very well might be. How much campaign can I get in a go? Thirty-six to sixty-three. So the chances of me getting up to another four fifty are low. Oh, I know what that capacity probably is if I want to hold on to Insight for later, because I just thought that maybe I might want to do that if I wanted to save my campaign to be able to buy that specialist and do that, but... Eh. Status from study. Interesting. With how much study I'm getting, status from study seems like it'd be pretty darn powerful, actually. I think I do want that status from study. Okay. Is there anything else? That I should grab right away. Collects if I finish things aggressively, which seems like I might be doing that. Uh, extra study if you finish an encounter aggressively. Extra campaign. 
buying all those up might be worthwhile to give my encounters more value. Um, let's give these guys their level ups real quick. Gains plus six attack when your current attitude is devious. Well, that's rarely our current attitude. So I am the prize. Plus one collect whenever she succeeds on the adventure. back out of everything first. Ha. I am the prize. Blue. Then you. Victor and allies around him gain one confident each turn, which will increase their attack. Which is probably better than collect from wits. Yeah, that makes fights way easier. We'll do that. And it's time for us to drop some study bombs. Alright, get in there. Because I got that one dude, these guys give me a lot of campaign. So, I might be able to buy some of those or all of those campaign dudes. Let's see. Um, research from Collect is definitely the one to get there. I'll probably be able to dump a lot of these. I don't know if I want to save up for the thousand for doubling these, but maybe. I've got a pretty darn good setup as it is right now. Okay. And I can grab this, and it's 200 to grab three more supplies. Can I possibly get 300? No. Okay, so I might hold on to my insights. And that, that five is probably just the max that I can hold on to without having to lose any. So, let us upgrade this and grab study first. And then grab the collect because we can get the collect and we can't afford this to get the extra campaign. Uh, good. Good, good, good. Buying equipment. We are going to need battles to be not skin. So, I don't particularly need anything in there. Here. I got 650. Uh, give everybody good gloves. Sell all that. And then give uh, everybody. You have a lot of speech defense. Is that because of this? Probably not. So we'll give you some good armor. Uh, you don't have much of anything. And of course they're mowing the lawn again. They're never done. So, just gotta finish this up. I'm gonna be giving you a good armor and you already have pretty decent armor so you'll get I was hoping to be able to buy you a good memento but you'll get a decent memento and we'll call it here and I won't need to cut it but next time we get to go on another expedition we could go to the highlands or the Memphis desert but we'll probably go to one of these two and be a little safer alright so we'll see you then Bye.